I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the Infowars store and on the back it says legalize freedom show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today but what she's done is criminal this is an American president just add puppet then vote and repeat every four years Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make this short and sweet. The news articles, the video clips are all on Infowars.com, backing up the information I'm about to lay out. Four million refugees in the last two years, mainly out of Syria, who were an invading Sunni force, who the Russians and others have defeated, are being allowed north, up through Turkey, to come into Europe. A large portion of them are former ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and Al-Nusra fighters. They are also being flown by aid organizations into the United States by the tens of thousands as well, and they want to bring in hundreds of thousands. Most Muslims are not terrorists. They're not connected to groups, but these are Sunni Wahhabists on record attacking all over Europe, threatening to attack Macedonia, attacking trains, attacking uh, French theaters, attacking recruiting centers here. And so I keep racking my brain, why would Obama and Hollande and Merkel and all of them keep bringing these people in at record levels despite the fact that it's so incredibly unpopular and their own countries are about to throw them out of office. This is causing a rebellion across the board, even in the left. Why is this happening? Because there's an alliance with the totalitarian left and radical Sunni-based, Saudi Arabian-based, Al-Qaeda-affiliated groups like ISIS and Al-Nusra. And that's why when you have the Fort Hood attacks, and that's why when you have, with 14 dead, and this new attack in San Bernardino with 14 dead, and 130-something dead in France, and, and all the rest of it, they try to say it's not Islamic terror. And our media is so controlled, it took them two days to admit it was Islamic terror, when we knew, and, and Michael Savage knew within two hours, their names, who they were, their connections to Facebook, and pledging allegiance to ISIS. So I'm shooting this Facebook mentions and a YouTube on Friday afternoon. I'll be shooting reports all weekend, breaking this down. But it all hit me. I sat around wargaming it with some of the smarter uh, minds. Everybody's really smart around here, but we really wargamed it. And they're bringing in a large shadow army of people they don't command, but people they know in their psychological breakdowns, in their assessments, in their algorithms, in their actuaries, in their wargaming, will end up attacking. And there are, there have already been a bunch of attacks. They've got to cover up the early ones while the groups get in place. And then they can have the religious leaders in Saudi Arabia and others call for the attacks at the time they want, and it will begin. And then when all hell breaks loose, the pattern is, like in France and Germany, ban people's free speech that are against open borders, ban the nationalist speech, let the leftists march, declare civil emergency, martial law, which they've now done in France and basically Germany, 
and then just bring in even more numbers and let them attack, and then say you culturally have to give up all of your true Western liberal values of open society for the new authoritarian liberalism, where you can't have free speech because it offends the Muslims. And then they can have the radical Muslims bully all the other Muslims. This is just bullying totalitarianism, and it's clearly happening because normally it would be political suicide for presidents and prime ministers and chancellors to bring in millions of people who a large percentage of are radical and came from countries they just invaded and killed 300,000 people like Syria. But they know they're bringing the Arab Spring here because Al Gore said three years ago, he said, we need an Arab Spring in America basically with socialists. So they're going to use this to kick off the civil unrest, the Black Lives Matter, Soros, same group funding Arab Spring, same group funding Ukraine. And then out of the crisis, they'll bring in the civil emergency to ban everybody's freedoms. But they don't want people to know there's this ISIS slash al Nusra slash Al-Qaeda sleeper cell wave coming in until it's built up to its mass force. That's, again, a Pentagon military. It's not really even a Pentagon term. It goes back to uh, German field marshals and others, even before von Bismarck. They want to build up their mass first and their command and control. And, man, I'm telling you, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of the U.S., millions in Europe, large percentages of military-age men who we know fought. The government's letting them in with fake passports or no passports. Airplanes are landing, CBS News, with 140-something people with no passports, and the feds just say, we don't know who you are. You're free to walk through. Citizens are torn apart, interrogated, bag searched. If I had a fake passport, I'd serve 10 years in prison, and so would you. It's a serious felony. I mean, this is something big, folks. This is worse than I thought. This is the false flag to let them in, have the terror attacks take place, and then take all our freedoms. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let's brainstorm this. But bottom line, our elite have gone totally insane. They have a suicide wish for the West, or they're going to manage all this and think they've suspended common sense and logic that, hey, our government brings them in. They're to blame when they attack. Don't take my rights. Don't take my guns. <clears throat> But they've suspended logic and they're saying, oh, we're going to take your guns, even if this guy bought guns legally and did a background check. It's your fault, gun owners. It's your fault. They're, they're going ahead against us. It's really happening. And it's so bizarre how much these elitists, these Ford Foundation people, hate America and hate Europe and hate true renaissance and true freedom for women. Where are the feminist groups? Where are the liberals? Where, where are the conservatives, the, the ones that wanted to get rid of our rights to be safe? We're not safe getting rid of our rights. Donald Trump's wrong on that when he says more surveillance will keep us safe. They've got total surveillance over everybody, except the radical Islamicist. I sent Joe Biggs and crew up there, up there right now, it was on TV today. It's been it's, it's made news around the country to covering these Islamic training camps that they admit are in the US. And I got a call, they got calls by the Homeland Security uh, head with the state police. And, they, and it's like, how do you have my number? How do you know where they're at? They go, well, we're just tracking you by your phones. How do you know who my crew are? Well, we just check the records. But but you don't know who the Islamists are coming in, and you don't know when they're on Facebook pledging allegiance to ISIS to kill everybody. And they went to the Christmas party and said, are you Christian? Are you Jewish? And then blew their heads off. And I've seen mainstream media go, well, one guy was Christian. He talked about it. Maybe he deserved it. This is like, you got a Christmas tree? Bam, you're dead. Liberals are like, yeah, you die. Yeah. And we were we heard that from a relative. They were contacting us, reaching out, saying, you guys got to get the real story. Out. Absolutely. Well, I mean, this is just freakish. But look, all that aside, they're bringing in the sleeper cells. It's real. They're going to use the crisis. See, if fire ants climb up your leg, one or two might get out of whack and sting you first. That's how you know they're coming up your leg. But if they're well-ordered, they wait till 100 or so get on you, all up your legs. Then they release a pheromone that's instantaneous. They smell it feet away that to all sting at once. And then they and you get hit with stingers. A few fire ants are stinging first. And, it, and so the media is like, oh, the attacks at the Army, Navy, Marine Corps centers aren't. Oh, the attack in Garland isn't. Oh, the attack on this train isn't. The attack on these cops aren't. Oh, the attack on the theater isn't. Oh, the attack on the train isn't. Oh, the attack, the attack on the newspaper isn't. With RPGs, they cover it up so that the fire ants can get all over us and then bam, hit us at once. And the government's like, oh my God, civil emergency, we're gonna protect you. They'll probably hit Iran or Iraq, groups that aren't even involved with Saudi Arabia and the Sunnis. I predict when this happens, they're gonna hit the people that haven't done anything to us, just like 9-11. That's how dumb they think we are. But folks, this is our best thinking on this. You know we know our stuff. What do you think? They're bringing in the sleeper cells right now. They're gonna let them hit us. Bottom line, that means this government at the top is complicit in the terror attacks and is working out of this area of the world 
through Syria to bring in the Saudi Arabians through Iraq, through Syria, to come into Europe, to go in and attack and to fly into Europe and to walk into Europe and to come into Germany and to fly into the United States and to fly in through here and come up through Mexico, setting us up. And as we get hit all over the country, Tennessee, Texas, California, New York, as we get hit, they say, there's no terror attack. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Move along. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. If you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now we're standing outside of the Islamic Center of America. Right behind me is the largest mosque in the United States. Now I have with me a, a local resident who uh, is from this area, and he has some very interesting stuff to say about what happened after the Paris attacks. I found out to be later were fireworks, and in the streets, I did not see the people. However, it was several blocks away from me, within maybe four or five blocks from my house. People were shouting Allah Akbar, and that was... Wow, they were so, they had fireworks going, they were screaming Allah Akbar, and basically celebrating the attacks that happened in Paris. Yes, sir, and that was uh, quite disturbing to me, especially living in America. That is just, that's unacceptable. I mean, how, how can you, I don't know, I'm sorry, I just don't understand how people can celebrate death. That, yeah, that's completely mind-blowing. The fact that, it, you know, in Turkey they had that soccer game and they asked for a moment of silence. Uh, the crowd started screaming, Allahu Akbar, again. So this is stuff that we're seeing all over the place. You know, we're being told this is a, uh, a peaceful religion, but then you see people like this doing that and completely tarnishing it. That's crazy. Do uh, uh, you have anything else to say about what you notice at night? Uh, just that I'm uh, keeping locked and loaded on my dresser, sir. Thanks for watching the show tonight. If you are watching us on YouTube, be sure and hit the subscribe button and show your support and take us to the next level. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you here again Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.